Hey guys, Kajosta here. I've been playing the monk for a while. I focused on uh, Mist Weaver first, which you saw last video. In the second one, I tried DPS. I was not a huge fan of Windwalker, so I tried Tank. And Tank is. Brewmaster seemed weak. And then once you got some talents in your weapon, holy crap, it's pretty powerful. So I'm going to discover basically what I do as a tank as a Brewmaster. There's a lot of stuff going on in this as a tank on here, but the basics are talents which you basically need to have. When I first tanked as Brewmaster, I used Jade Wind, which throws like little knives around you, which is kind of cool for picking up groups of mobs. But I found out that if you hold on to Keg Smash along with Special Livery, you can keep your aggro on pretty much everything. Some mobs seem to wipe out aggro or they just ignoring my damage or whatever, I'm not sure. I had one healer that had always had something on him. I'm like, wait a second, but I have on the threat meter, I had 100% threat, so I'm not sure what that's going on there. This character is pretty good. If you've not been in tank before, this makes tanking easy because you have a few things that are really easy. For one is, is this exploding keg, awesome as hell. Look at this thing. Throwing a huge gigantic oil keg, I don't know, I guess it could be just fire. But that's your, your cooldown, your artifact weapon. Your target palm is basically for, if I if, if I have nothing else to do, I'm, I'm hitting that. And with the tiger palm, I have the heal over time, which is almost non-existent. This is basically just like a, oh, it's a tickle. Cool, I got a little bit of healing going on in the background. Then you got their blackout strike, which is your main focus. Your main focus is because you want this combo here. You use blackout strike every time. That you gotta hit that first. So opening up you hit you hit blackout strike and then I recommend a keg smash to get the multiple mobs on you. And then depending on, on how you feel, since keg smash de debuffs them? Just slows their movement, okay. But then I put the breath of fire on them for more aggro and damage and just it's m just multiple damage on multiple characters is always good. Anyway, that, that's that's the mob. You hit blackout, and then you hit keg smash, so you, you get a whole bunch of them. And then you hit blackout again, and I usually go to fire because it gets a dot on them, does the damage. Blackout and tiger. And that's the basis. You should have the aggro pretty much yours. If it's a boss or it's more than four, four, or you just, or it's up, Use your ke exploding keg. This is, like I said, this is, does is a nice spike of damage too with multiple mobs. If you think there's going to be a big hit on you, what I use is Iron Skin Brew. This delays your, this adds the delay of damage to different forty percent. So this can be a, a lifesaver. Say a big, you know, it's going to be a big hammer. You can't move out of a big smash. As soon as that that hits you, you hit five. And you get, yeah, you just get that additional s stagger, which helps the, the healer keep you alive. Sometimes you'll take so much damage that your fairifying brew will turn red or start glowing, and that's that's when you hit that, or you feel too much damage in your in your stagger. You you release some 50% of the damage with purifying brew here, which they both use the same charges, but to get charges back, you wait. 18 seconds or you use blackout strike with keg smash like I said it's a little it definitely takes a while getting used to it. once you understand the basics of the tank you're like oh okay this is easy and also it's it's neat how when you get lower than 50% life you have your ex, expel harm which is funny name for a healing spell but this uses little round things in the ground. They call them healing spores. What you do is you wait for three or more and hit this. Or if you're you're below 20, like 20%, I usually just use them whenever they're up because they, they seem to pop out more when you're at low at life. So those are the basic skills of a tank. Also you have a cooldown, which a seven minute cooldown. This is really, I only use this if I'm, if I'm below probably 30%, maybe, maybe maybe 35%, so they have a chance to heal you. But a good panic button is, is that. 
it reduces your damage. Also, stagger delay. So it might be even better at 40%. If you get a big hit, you hit that, and then you hit that with iron skin. So that's 60% uh, for lo delay. So that's really that can help keep you alive. Stun is great. Use this. The casting fear. If you have a big huge, you pull too much, use that to give the healer some time. So that is the basics. Oh, I have this healing this or which I only use in panic mode. If you're below a percent, uh, thirty-five percent, it automatically just goes off anyways. So there is that. So you really don't have to really worry about that unless, say, like again, if I'm I know I'm taking spike damage, I'm gonna hit that just to help the healer out of the healer's low mana or, or or everyone's hurt. I try to heal myself up. So that's the skills of my talents, which is special delivery is automatically just throws. Oh, I guess drinking automatically has a chance to throw a keg, doing some damage, grabbing aggro. It's awesome. You don't have to worry about it. I used to use, like I said, I used to use the Jade Wind, but I, once you learn the basics of the class, you don't need that anymore. You're like, oh, wow, I can just keep aggro with keg smash and breath of fire. And I chose this one because I like the roll, but I'm thinking maybe Tiger Lust is better. I just, I just don't like having another hotkey to use that. So, yep, this is just a quick overview of the talents. And now you know the skills. Hey, let's, ch let's check this bad boy in action. Oh my gosh, I look at that bonus. And look at that. Gonna get the bonus. If you're a tank, make sure you... Every time this is up like this, you want to do it. Because, hey, guess what? You get about 800 gold with the satchel, and you also get goodies like like these runes, which suffer about 400. They've actually gone up 460,000. 400. 460 gold. So if you're low on gold, as you can see, I'm, I'm actually plenty of gold. 130,000. As you can see, my gear is decent. I almost have 4,000 life. Um, I'm almost maxed. My weapon is almost maxed out. Yeah, I'm at 33. I'm close to 34. And 35 is when you get your, your point of armor here. Oh, uh, this is going to be simple easy. I'm going to have 4.5 mil with uh, that lucky draw. <laughs> okay, so basics of the tank. Let's do it. Click on them. Blackout strike. Keg. Blackout strike. Fire. Blackout strike. Tiger. Now, I, I'll keg smash for fun. Almost always interrupt when you can. Okay, so yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> like I said in the beginning, it's like, man, this is this is I don't I don't get it. I don't understand it. I've taken some damage, so I hit uh, the lay the brew. Hopefully, he'll heal me. That's how I just got tiger first, since I know I have aggro in this guy. All right, there you go. Simple stuff. So as you can see, it's 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 nothing to it. Once you understand the basics of the, of the class. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the most entertaining class to play. Blackout Strike, Keg Smash, Fire, but it's it's cool that you can do it almost get instant, usually instant dungeons or if you, uh, if you learn how to do the the raids, you can you can go as tank. Oh, I would say you just get about 20 into your your tank weapon and then go do tank, normal, and usually the people that can tank can heal you up pretty easily. I'm lucky I got a good group again. This, the damage is pretty good. I did the I did TOV tank earlier, and I waited one minute in queue for looking for raid. That is a bonus of when you're a tank. It's pretty cool, right? As DPS, it can take forever. What the heck? Come here. I see right now. Look, see on the pull aggro. I had 100% aggro, but it's all over the place. So he's dropping aggro, or he's just I don't know. I don't ever understand. All right. So our first boss. Again, I always start with black blackout strike, uh, keg smash, fire, blackout strike, keg smash. I once in a while, if I have three charges, I try to get iron brew up just because. Why not? Makes the healer easier to heal you and. Like I said, this group is pretty good, so I don't really have to just do much. My life is going down pretty quick, so I hit the Iron Brew. To get the stagger up. Um, I can release some of that damage, and then get 
then hit the five, which I guess you don't really have to do that, but it's kind of a habit I've been doing. I'm, I'm not sure if it's bad or good. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters. But on harder bosses, you really start seeing these two work out well. Like when you take like 10 mobs on you at once, this will glow red, or and you hit that to drop the 50, so you're not taking chunks of life. As far as I can tell, they want you to have... All the guides say, go, go, go crit, go crit. I'm guessing just because... Why not, right? Crit higher, get the mobs on you fat more. Uh, so right now I'm currently at 37% crit with two legendaries that I'm just work that I got with my healing set. So that's what I'm using. I've been trying to get, I was hoping to get a legendary for my tank build, but the my third legendary was a ring, and if you know wild well, like like me. The ring is a booty booby prize. But yeah, I'll show you this the shagger damage. See how it says I'm taking X amount of damage for second here. So if I use if I hit the iron it takes a longer delay. It lays that damage longer. So it's easily easier to heal. That's all it does. And if you use the other one, pur purifying is purifying. You hit that, and it takes 50% of the, of the remaining stragger, sagger, so it makes it easier for them to heal you. It took me a while to understand it, even though it's probably very straightforward for most. Kick smash. Stun. Oh, I can't have it up. Let's use the, my cooldown. I have to interrupt that blazing BS. I don't think you can avoid that. I tried to avoid it, but the, the main problem with this place is you can't hurry it up. You have to wait for the stupid thing to come through the portal. You can't go, oh, I'm going to pull... The mobs are the boss, like you saw on the healing. I try to taunt when there's a mob that's not on me or it's on the healer. If it's an important mob, I just taunt it or whatever. See, right now, I'm not sure what happened there. It's aggro's on me, but... Oh, it's impaled them, I see. Uh, I'm just going to just do... But since it's so low, I can use that. I can use this one and to delay it again. If he's hurting me, I don't know. It's hard to tell. My life is so high. The offensive strike. I'm, I'm really not bad. My gear is so good I can just stand and stuff. I try to back up heal for people too, once in a while. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will try my best to, to help you out with them. The best of my knowledge. I've just tanked TOV before, looking for raid, which is pretty easy. You just don't, you just stand where you have to stand, I don't know. It seems so easy once you know the basics of the fight, but I re I highly recommend try taking a mirror tank before, just because it's gives you an idea, a different perspective, what everyone deals with. This was, uh, you can also see where, where everything works and where you need to stand and you, how you, I I feel it, it helps the player in general. It said dodge the attack. I can't dodge it, buddy. I tried dodging, it didn't work. <laughs> Purple, look out for the purple waves. Mighty smash, I, I still can't avoid it. Oh, right. I guess Tiger's good for right here. You come up here and you click on the spike. Oh, no, they already did it. I think it used to be harder, you channel the spike or something like that, but whatever. Was that it? Yay, that was it. So that was my tank guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you have any questions, check it out in the comments and enjoy your wow. Anyways, that's World of Warcraft. I'm Control Style. That was Brewmaster. Showing off the, explaining the skills and how, what I do for tanking. Thanks for watching, guys. Control Style, out. Hey, guys. Control Style here. This is what I do for monk healing. So I'm going to break down the basics of the healing spells that I use. And then I will show you me in action using them. So let's start off with probably my most used spell, Vivify. This one is a heal that I use if more than two players are hurt in my group. One target 